All right, hey there. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make some text effects using a Pixlr Editor. So let's get started here. I'm going to go to Create New Image, and as always, I want to name it. So this is going to be about text. So I think I will just call it text. And having a nice 8 by 600 uh, preset should be pretty good. And that just gives you the width and the height, which is 800 by 600, obviously. And we do not want to make this one transparent. So I'm just going to click OK. And here I have my canvas. Now, in order to make text, all you need to do is just click right here on the type tool and then go up. And there will be a little box into which you can put your text. So I am just going to write hello. And it gives you the standard Verdana font in size 30, regular black. But we want to change that because that is not very exciting. So what you could do to change the font is just click on that and you could pick through all a whole bunch of them that Pixlr Editor has for you to choose from. Um, they will not, it will not take ones that you have installed on your computer. So if you've done that with, say, Photoshop, it, this does not do that, but it does give you quite a few to choose from and just pick one that you like. Now, I can like that one. Now, let's, ah, that's good. Okay. Hello. And we are going to change the color around later, so I'm just going to leave that at black, and that's a little too small, so I want to make it bigger. Nice and but it's as big as it can get. Huh? Nice and big like that, and I'll keep it regular, left aligned. And so now, if I click this, I have my text right there, and it is a new layer. So what we want to do to be able to change the text is we want to select it so that the changes that we make are only going to be applied to the text and not to the background as well. So if I click on the magic wand, it will not let me do anything. And that is because text, when they make it in this program, it is what's called a vector graphic, meaning it's done mathematically by different shapes that can automatically transform to whatever size you want. And Pixlr Editor, along with Photoshop, is a roster graphics editor, and that works mainly with pixels. So what we need to do in order to get our text to be able to work on it is we need to what's called rasterize it. So if you go over here and just right click on this and rasterize layer, you'll see this change it just changes into an image, and now we can select what we want. And I'm going to take my magic wand, and I'm going to click on that. And if I press Shift, I can just click several things, and I can click. And if you make a mistake, oh, no, that you could just go back, and it will be there for you. And there we go. I can just click on that, and now all of this is selected, and any kind of change that I make will only be in the selected area and not outside of it. So if I were to try to paint this, will not work, no, that's not gonna show up anyway, because it's black. If I were to try to paint this, that will not work, but if I want like that, it will. Undo it with Command Z. So what the first thing is that we're going to do with this text is we are going to add what is called a gradient. And a gradient just simply changes from one shade to another. There are many different kinds of gradients, and if you start to look for them, you will see them all over the web and different computers. Uh, if you see these bars right here on Pixel Editor, this is a gradient. It starts out dark, and then it goes up to lighter, and you will see this all over. Just start looking for them, and you can't miss them. And this is a white to black gradient, and if you just click on it, we can change these. So these ones right here are different patterns, and it may seem obvious that these are more colorful and oh, those look better, but you can also change the color on these. So I'm just gonna go to my simple dark to light, um, my simple dark to light gradient, and all it does is go from one color to, an, um, to another color. And because this one is from black to white, it just looks like it's from dark to uh, white, but we could click on this, and then if we click on color, we could pick whatever color that we want. So let's go. I am partial to this color right here. And now if I click over here and click on that color, I can change it. Let's have like that. 
There we go. You can see the preview right there and just click OK. And now my hello will start off from this kind of aqua green to this more true blue. And if I just, you'll, you'll have a plus there and just drag it across and it will go from there to there. If you were to do it the other way, it will go like that, but I kind of like it the other way. So I'm going to keep it like this. Okay. Now, if I were to unselect this, uh, you will still see some borders around it. So I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to cut out the thing that we just made. So I'm going to do Command X, and you can see the borders that are kind of left around it. And I'm just going to get rid of this layer, and I'm going to paste it onto here so that it is just true right there. And it automatically goes into that new layer. Now what we can do is we can use the filters to play around with how it looks. So this is going to be up to you as to how you want to do it. So if you do noise, you'll get these little things right here and you can change the amount. And yeah, I don't really like that. So I'm gonna pick something else, filter. Uh, let's see, diffuse, that looks pretty cool to me. So you could change the amount again. Uh, but again, this is entirely up to you. So whatever, you, which one you enjoy is great. It's the same thing with the colors and also the types of gradients. So say you wanted to do one of these gradients, change, mess around with those different colors. It's really just the amount of the change that you have in the gradient and just whatever you want is totally cool. That's the fun thing about playing with your text here in Pixel Editor is that it's entirely up to you. And one last thing that we are going to do is we are going to play with the layer styles. So if you right click on the layer and click on layer styles, you can change these things right here. So you could have a drop shadow that makes it go like that. You can have an inner shadow, uh, the bevel to make it look more 3D. You could have that outer glow or you could have the inner glow or you could even have a combination of a lot of them. And if you click on this, this will change. This will change how um, just the different settings of it. So the opacity right now is on 75. It'll be much lighter if you were to change that. It'll be really dark. It's like that, and I kind of like that. And that is the quick and dirty to how you can make text effects in Pixel Editor. So now that you know how to do that, just go into Pixel Editor and play around with any kind of messages that you want and try out all the different gradients, all the different effects and see what you can come up with. Hope that was helpful. Bye.